People need to be careful, careful, careful. Hi, I'm Adam C and welcome to the VG Giveaways Golf GTI Mark 5. I'm heading to a brand new show at Silverstone, the German Car Festival. So I've taken this car that can be yours at vggiveaways.co.uk. They've sponsored this video. It can be won very, very soon. But we're going to capture the arrivals into the show once I have arrived at the show. As ever, first one in the car park. Yes, it is on Airlide with Bentley wheels and an R32 Golf rear end, which is also dirty. So we've got a Nagawa Blue Audi S4 pulling in with a Mark 7. Golf R behind. It's very confusing. They've made a modern caddy. Ah, yes. Some pops and bangs. And potentially some more. There they are. They're all turning up now. of the day, making a lot of noise, and a Corsa, um, and, a, and a Fiesta, there is actually a secondary section for non-German cars, and that is the Trax Social. Trax used to be pretty much the largest modified car show uh, in the country, unfortunately it's not on this year, so they've got a Trax Social part of this show, so that's for the modified cars that aren't German. Now here's a question. Was that completely necessary? And also, are Seats part of the German crew? Because they're Spanish, or are they going to be in the German section? I'm sure we'll see later. And there's quite a lot of them, so we definitely will notice later where they're going to be parked, either with the Germans or the tracks parts of the show. Hello, Golds. Aston Martin Vantage, you've done very well and goodbye, I'll see you later. We have another grandstand of Seats. Hello and good morning and peace and have a safe journey and where will you be parking because I don't think they're German. Even though they are kind of golfs underneath, why are the Seats the most popular car of the German show? It's basically golfs, polos and ups, just wearing an S. It's their home country symbol for peace. That's why you did that out the window, it makes sense. That one's yellow. Was it Hope? I think it's Hope. BMW M2 leading a gang of golfs and other beamers. striking car of the show, Chrome Green. How about that? It's low and slow. Hello. Thought he was about to blow a kiss there. There's a single exit exhaust on the M1 something I. Are there LEDs on the front of the bonnet there? I have never seen that done before. That is new to me and I've seen it all. But here arrive the TTs. This one's got a different front end. Looks like an RS3 style front bumper on the Gen 1 TT. C63, some diesel. Probably the oldest car of the show. Sounds amazing. It's got V8. Cherry reds, some diesel.
Check out the colour on this Audi. It's like a subtle olive green. There was a flame. That's the beauty of cars arriving. All the engines are already warm, so the flames are going to happen. It's going to be now. TTs and more red wheels sporting at a max power Renault 5 Turbo. There it is. That will be going in the track social part of the German show. E36 Cabriolet. This spoiler is just dripping with orange. Hello? And a Golf with the word Golf written on it, just so we know that it's a Golf, even though it's one of the most recognisable cars in the world. today. Not in a BMW, so not appropriately dressed. And that is an unusual motor vehicle. Hello, be careful, there's police officers up there. But for another member of the track social part of the show is a revving R33 Skyline. People need to be careful, careful, careful. That's, that's when he knows I need a sign now. He last used the toilet 20 years ago. Dakar Yellow E92 M3 with tire icing and a spoiler. Another Seat. And another Seat. And another Seat. Hello! Seats are the most popular car so far. We've got a 991 GT3. I think I've only seen three Porsches today so far. Ah! That noise suggests, yes, the police have moved on. Hello! Celebrate with me! As did the E46. It's like, who's horn? Hello! What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he gonna do? It's happening! Oh, it happens! Wunderbar! Oh, pink! Matt! Oh no, satin! I'd say satin pink! Revolutions from the Citroen! German. 
Chrome Rose Gold on the R8, missing its rear bumper. German, but we'll appreciate the little starlet making a bit of noise. By the way, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, do so now. You're going to miss a lot of videos if you're not subscribed. It's a simple button to press. Here we go. The widest polo in the world. Woo! That was a bit speedy, a bit quick, and a bit uneasy. And a bit on air ride, but up at the moment. Traffic has now decided to build it up, so the cars are definitely getting a bit more commonplace. As are the unmarked vehicles. Look, CU20 Sia. That's the most bait police officer I have ever seen. It may be a coincidence they've got a CU20 Sia number plate, but I don't believe it is. I don't believe that. Fortunately, this unmarked officer hasn't got a personalized plate. And prepare to say aye aye, Captain, if you are ready for this next lineup of cars. We have a very green Seat behind the Scirocco's. It's vibrant and fun. There's more Seats as well in the lineup, and other cars are arriving behind me. Like the Scirocco, and the Scirocco, and the Scirocco. Potentially. Oh, thanks. A BMW 2002 Turbo. Hello. For some, may be the best car of the show so far from 1974. Whoa! Something's got caught on the canards of the TT. There's not a bit of tire. No, it's not tire, is it? Must have picked something up from the road. <laughs> I just got passed by a girl. One of these cars exploded. I'm guessing it was this Seat, which is unfortunate because the traffic means we're not going to see it accelerate. It's one of the fastest little cars of the meet. Yeah, we're going to get some noise though. That's insane. That's probably a favourite so far. And a green Audi R8 behind with green calipers and green around the rims as well. Very Kermit. Hello, good morning. Old McDonald had a farm. That was a dark cloud. Congratulations. Warsprung Dutch Technique. Wowzers. Oh. Anyway, Audi R8 and the craziest scooter of the day. It's not a Japanese show. It's at home. It doesn't fit in. I'm in a golf today, I fit in. I enjoy the heckles, heckles are fun. I also enjoy the width of that E46. I didn't enjoy that though. A carbon bonnet on the M6, revving the nuts off it. The man's asleep, been too much for him already today. M2's gonna try and do some spins at the wheels. competition in the background. Hello from inside the E61 5 Series. There we go, everyone's doing it now. They're all in this together like High School Musical. We've started it, it's a war. World War Three comes in the form of, oh no, I shouldn't, no. Purple on the E46. The number plate game is fun. More number plate spotting, yo. That Saab has a nine volts jug. There's too much power for the bonnet to be closed. So oh, good. <laughs> VL6 of the Golf. Oh, here we go. There's an Audi Quattro. Here it comes behind some more R32s. It's a short wheelbase, wide body Quattro, wide wheeling the world. That is very special. 
trying to listen out for the five cylinder verbal. It's almost unusual how narrow that is in length and wide in width. It's like a square. Yes. Ge oh, it's German car festival, so you fit in. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there we go. Another plate spot. Get 999. Well, it's been fairly tame recent. Well, no, maybe not the burnout. So, yeah, I, I agree. Go, go get him. Because this video is fire. Not my best. But if you've got more of a fondness for the retro part of the German car scene, this is the gang for you. All these ghosts rolling in together is pretty insane. They BBS LMs on an Audi R8. And for the second Dakar yellow car of the day, we've got the E46. Mm. That's the Audi R8. And an impersonator. Audi RS6 is just revving on his own in the background. Not following the line of traffic. He's saying some words at me. All right. your eyes on the wrap of this M6. Colour fade from the bottom to the top. I presume it's a wrap. It could be dipped or something. That's something I haven't seen before on a car. It's like when you get your hair cut and you ask for a skin fade. That BMW has got a skin fade. The next gang to arrive is a gang of Vauxhall Astros at the German Car Festival. This van's blocking the road on purpose to have a go at someone. That was really weird. That's not how you drive, matey. From the TTS before. Oh, he should like Audis. I'm looking forward to finding out why his boots open. Maybe it's for the downforce. Must be for the downforce. It's the steepest rake of a sunroof ever. Hello. are bursting with laughter like they've got something in mind that's what they had in mind check out the color on the belgian e46 with wheels that are golden and a yellow golf do you think they're still laughing yeah they're still laughing okay Ladies and gents, this camera is active. It was facing a different way earlier. It's facing towards me at the moment. Now this sounds pretty tasty. Wide body Porsche Cayman. fancy driving in in the car rather than being on a trailer but we saw him first he was on a trailer I can tell you that's all he wanted to do make an entrance but it's now 9 30 so all of the cars should be in the show so I'm gonna go back into the car park you're late and see what's in there and you two are also very late look at the Celica D-Class has built that to perfection it's funny how even though this is the public car park, there's still a great proportion of German cars, fans of the German vehicle, coming to the German Car Festival. Although, you've got to consider, British car parks are mostly like this all of the time. So I need to pop the advertisement on the Golf so people know they can win the Golf when they're entering the show. It's a very useful document, this. So there you have the BG Giveaways Volkswagen Golf GTI that you can win by clicking on the link down below. I'm looking forward to giving this car to one of you guys it's going to be one very very soon on the Bentley wheels of those extended flared arches it's quite the stunner getting a lot of attention out of the front of the public car park today but I've been at Goodwood with it so got it a little bit dirty so didn't think it'd be suitable for in the show and I get here too early for that and then I stop filming the cars arriving too late to actually get a car into the show that's why I'm here but not a bad space so I hope you enjoyed that video of cars arriving at the German car festival make sure you hit that bell when you subscribe to be notified for my next videos from this show because there will be more but for now thanks for watching